The Royal College of Surgeons is working with Health Education England to pilot a new approach to surgical training, initially in general surgery. The pilot aims to address key issues identified by a review into surgical training. So how will the pilot work? The pilot program will deliver run-through training from ST1 with benchmarking against non-pilot trainees prior to ST3. Trainees on the pilot will work to exactly the same national curricula as the trainees who are not part of the pilot. However, by allocating more time to training, professionalising the role of the trainer, reducing on-call rotor commitments and making better use of surgical care teams, the pilot intends to provide those on the programme many more valuable training opportunities. There are so many reasons to apply to be part of this exciting new pilot programme. It aims to provide you with a greater quality of training provided by professionalised trainers with protected teaching time in their job plans. A greater quantity of training, improving the balance between training and service, supported in part by members of the surgical care team, more stability and security through longer placements in each training location and run-through training in a single region, and more potential for accelerated progression through true, competence-based training. How can you get involved in the pilot? Well, foundation trainees who want to specialise in general surgery in England, Scotland or Wales can apply via the national selection process for core surgical training. The person specification and interview process is the same for both routes, with offers made based on rankings achieved in the selection process. Scotland is also offering uncoupled IST placements in core surgical training. Wherever you hope to train, England, Scotland or Wales, remember, applications close at 4pm on the 30th of November 2017. To find out more and see a list of provisional pilot sites, visit our website or get in touch.